Hey there guys, welcome back. My name's Sadder Plays. I hope you're all well. In today's video it's part two of Daisy Panthera and in part one I got killed at the island by some dirty bandits that shot me down in my chopper. So what I really wanted to do was get revenge on these guys. But to do that I had to find a chopper or a plane and fly back out to that island to get these guys. So what I decided to do was to go to the airfield, wait for a server restart and then hopefully a chopper would respawn and I could take that and get out to the island. So what I did is I climbed the industrial building to wait for the server to restart but unlucky for me somebody spotted me and I soon started taking fire. So luckily I managed to get that guy but it soon become apparent that there was a lot more people at this airfield than I first anticipated. Now I didn't want to take any chances at the airfield, I'd been through too much to get here and I really didn't want to die, so for me I'm afraid, anyone that come near me, it was shoot on sight. So the server actually restarted and a chopper respawned right next to the building that I was in. Unlucky for some guy, someone else had the same idea that I did and he was running for the chopper that I wanted. So there was my means of escape from the airfield to get to this island. I had to take this window of opportunity and run down to that chopper and quickly get it and get out to the island as fast as I could. So I got to the chopper and when I got in it I realised it had no damn fuel. So now I've got a choice. I can either hunt around for fuel or I can wait for somebody to come to that chopper with fuel, kill them and then take their fuel. So I made my way back up into the industrial building and I soon realised somebody had got in my chopper. Now, I'm not too sure what the hell this guy was doing. He was just sitting on the gun, shooting around. I think he might have actually killed someone, actually. But I don't know if he had a squad of friends that were actually going to get fuel while he covered from the chopper. But one thing's for sure, he didn't bargain on me up in the industrial building with my sniper. So after killing that guy I thought to myself maybe he actually had some fuel in his backpack so I made my way down to the chopper. Or should I say I started to try and make my way down to the chopper. 
So after all that, I got killed by some guy with a MK48 that was just waiting at the bottom for me. Still, I guess that serves me right for sniping all them guys. So anyway, it's back to square one. I need to find myself some transport and get out to that island. But in doing so, I have to run the gauntlet of Team Deathmatch now on the main island. So after starting to gear up again, I actually realised that on this server, some of the choppers spawned up in the hills, so I made my way up into the hills to try and find a chopper spawn to then get back out to the island. And while I was up in the hills, I spotted two guys that obviously must have spotted me and were trying to outflank me. So after dealing with a few guys that were in my area, I decided to check around in the hills but I couldn't find any kind of chopper there. So I soon decided to head down into one of the cities, get a vehicle and then just cruise around the island looking for choppers. So as I was driving my car trying to find a chopper, I accidentally run into two bandits. Now we could have just passed each other by like ships in the night and all would have been well. One of them guys rammed my vehicle and then it was on. So that ended up costing me being killed, him being killed, two cars being blown up and his friend being injured. Sometimes it's probably worth just passing on by. So anyway, I respawned, and as soon as I respawned in, some guys started shooting at me straight away. So I thought I'd introduce him to a few friends of mine, the zombies. Hurrah! Enjoy zombies! You like zombies? I bring you zombies. Hello! You want zombies? Many zombies! Many zombies! That's it, you enjoy the zombie my friend, enjoy zombie. So after I introduced my newfound friend to Zimble the zombie, he was having a nice little sleep after that. So anyway, I moved on from that guy and I soon found myself an actual chopper. So this chopper didn't actually have any fuel, but that was no problem because I was right near some industrial buildings and the chopper was kind of out of the way so I could actually loot around and find some fuel for this chopper. So I started my hunt for some fuel. So 
so really lucky for me there was one fuel can in the building right next to me so I refueled the chopper and unfortunately that wasn't quite enough I just needed one more jerry can and then I was set to go to get my revenge on these guys at the island So luckily now I've got just the minimum amount of fuel that I need to get out to this island. So I refueled the chopper and it was time to head to get my revenge. myself maybe it was better to parachute out and swim to the island instead of actually landing on the island in case there was anyone there because after what happened last time I wasn't too keen on flying over the island in my chopper. So finally I've made it out to my island, just as the server was about to restart. Just as the server was about to restart. Unfortunately for me, I didn't actually realise that if you log out on that island, it actually puts you in debug and you lose all your progress and get spawned back to the coast. So what I did is I went on the server team speak and I found a friendly player that was willing to help. How did you become a bandit? Oh, I, I did kill people. <laughs> it's, it's just um, when you spawn with an MP5, like everybody seems to shoot. So, yeah. You know, after a while you think, shit, I better shoot first. But yeah. if, if people say friendly, I never ever shoot. I'm not that type of guy. Yeah, I just kill on sight because, like, I've been traded on so much. So when we got to the island, we checked it out, and there was absolutely nobody there. I had these pictures in my mind of having a big epic battle with these guys that killed me in the chopper, and there was just nobody here. So I was a bit disappointed about this, until my friend told me, that if I really wanted a big PvP battle, I should head up to the Northwest Island because on that island there was NPCs with DMRs, there was big clans up there that used to camp the island, and there was choppers and just so much loot that you wouldn't believe. So this was the place for me. So without further ado, I got in a boat and I went there. So after I landed on this island, I really didn't know what to expect and it wasn't long before I found some dead bodies with a DMR. Now if this island was as harsh as what my friend told me, I was going to need this DMR. I knew that I wouldn't stand a chance on this island if I didn't get this DMR and then I soon started receiving shots and I don't know if this is from another NPC or a player, but all I did know is the hat to get this DMR. So I managed to get that DMR and then I saw something that absolutely confirmed to me that there was players here. I started to see an NPC run near the runway and then it got shot and died. Now NPCs don't shoot other NPCs, only players shoot NPCs. So I knew things were about to get hot.
Then suddenly the whole island seemed to come to life. Choppers started rolling in, shots started ringing out, and I knew that this was the battle I'd been looking for. Now these guys in the chopper were coming so low over me they must have seen me and I had the feeling that they was all in communication, maybe one big clan and I knew that people were going to be coming in soon to try and kill me. So I relocated from that hillside where I'd obviously been spotted and I started to go on the attack. Now what I first thought was a player was actually an NPC, so it wasn't really worth me giving away my position to the player on these islands by shooting these NPCs, I just really had to avoid these NPCs, because they are like aimbots and they will shoot you as soon as they see you. Now I'm pretty sure this chopper was scouting around looking for me after I shot at that car and I think they just found me. I was just waiting for this chopper to put auto hover on and try and land and then I was going to smash this chopper but then I noticed someone right in front of me.
zombies, NPCs, choppers, players. Oh, it couldn't get any better. This is what I was looking for, and it was about to get a whole lot better. So I think I'd announced myself pretty well on this island. Obviously all these other players knew that I was here, and I wasn't going to get off this island alive, I knew that. But I was going to take as many of them out as I could before they got me. Now, my heart is racing now. I don't know if NPCs are coming up the stairs after me, zombies, players. I was just freaking out, actually. But I was trying to sort of cover all areas, the sky, outside, and the doorway that was coming up to me. And then I started to spot zombie aggro, and there was a player. Straight away after I killed that guy, the chopper started getting a little bit too close for comfort. So I managed to take down their chopper, kill one of their guys, 
I've got zombies coming up the stairs, NPCs are surrounding the building I'm on, and things are getting pretty hectic now. And you can find out what happens in the next episode of Panfera. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you do like what I'm doing, maybe give us a like and a comment. It just shows me that I'm doing the right thing. And here's a little taster of what happens in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.